So I thought Shrewsbury would eventually win the game, and they have done, but I didn't think it would come down to penalties. But I'm not going to predict anything. Good luck to them all. It's impossible, isn't it? It's uh, in the lap of the gods now, and we shall see how it all turns out live here. Here at Gay Meadow, and of course we'll bring you the action from Edgar Street as they go into penalties as well. Let's rejoin our commentators for the penalty action at Gay Meadow. Shrewsbury against Barnet. Mike Walker and Kevin Keatings. Thanks, George. I bet you're glad where you are at this moment. Jake Sedgmore will step forward to take the first penalty for Shrewsbury Town. Penalty shootouts are dramatic enough, and more often than enough, they just affect one cup tie and a progress in a cup competition. This penalty shootout will affect a whole season's hard work, and will it end in tears, tears of joy or tears of sadness, tears there certainly will be in a few minutes' time. Well, the man who came on late, very late, in extra time, Sedgmore. And that's why Jimmy Quinn got him on. We heard that he was cool, and he was coolness personified. It's an excellent penalty, isn't it? The first one, nice and confident. Good pace on the ball. And the goalkeeper, although going the right way, couldn't reach it. Just wonder, Kevin, as well, no one's actually mentioned the goalkeepers building up to these penalties, but often and not, one of the goalkeepers are a hero, whether it's a bad penalty or a wonderful save. Now, Ben Strebens, who scored in the first leg. The Shrewsbury fans doing their best to put him off behind that goal, but they won't succeed. Barnett's strongest penalty taker. And Scott Howie guessing the wrong way. Jamie Tolley. Only 20. He'll step forward now to see if he can re-establish the advantage for Shrewsbury Town. He's come through the ranks at this football club. He's played before, of course, in the Football League with him. Will he be going back with Shrewsbury? Given his side every opportunity to advance to the promotion final as his work is over and done with successfully. Well, you can see the relief on his face, can't you? So pleased to see it near the back of the net. Good penalty again. Three quality penalties so far. Giuliano Grazioli, serial goal scorer. He doesn't disappoint either. Nerves of steel down there. Well, that was a cool head, wasn't it? Goalkeeper going the wrong way. It's early, just side footing it home. And the tension builds, Kevin. 2-2. Two -two. No one has missed yet. And here's a man who has scored in both legs of this semi-final playoff. Luke Rogers. Never looked like he'd have missed, did he? <laughs> Rye smile from Shane Gores. Nothing you can do about a penalty tucked away like that. Well, there's been some good ones, hasn't there, so far? Goalkeeper's really not had a sniff at all of attempting to save them. Now, it's a big moment here for a young man called Ishmael Yakabu, who only turned 19 in April. He's been a very consistent performer for Barnett this season. Paul Fairclough outwardly looking cool, but inwardly he and player will be feeling all the tension that is possible here. It's Ishmael Yakabu. Well, I've seen some penalty shootouts down the years, Clive, but this is uh, as good a quality set of six penalties that I've seen. Well, it is, and what we've seen is in the goalkeeper go the wrong way every single time. And uh, it's unfortunate for the keepers, you know, they've not had a chance. I know they would like to get as close as they can. Colin Cram off the substitutes bench today. And he too. Shane Gore again, the Barnett goalkeeper guessing the wrong way. It's such a lottery, isn't it? 
4-3 for Barnett, uh, for Shrewsbury rather, and Barnett need to score here. And the man who's going to step up now is the man who got the late, late and ultimately very important goal, as it turned out, for Barnett in the first leg at Underhill. Simon Clist. To seven successful penalties, Simon Clist is denied by Howie. Very little run up. Almost too relaxed, wasn't it? And just showed him the way to go. Scott Howie downs his right hand side. Good clean save. And now, Darren Moss, the player who will miss the promotion final if Shrewsbury get there has had to now go and get the ball from behind the goal to see if his penalty will take Shrewsbury into the promotion final at Stoke City's Britannia Stadium a week on Sunday. It's all down to this. If he scores, Shrewsbury go to the final. Embraces first the goalkeeper Scott Howie, a massive pitch invasion. And Shrewsbury Town, 12 months after going out of the Football League, and now just one win away from bouncing straight back. They've had to take the hard route against the Barnet side who pushed them all away. But they were the ones to hold. There's five successful penalties, and it was enough to see off the challenge of Barnet in the end. The Barnet players have given their all.